So today we have Kim Bernales from University of Washington School of Dentistry. Kim, thank you for joining us. Hey, hey. <laughs> so Kim, uh, if you can, please give us a brief summary of your dental school journey, where you're from, where you went to undergrad, what mm -hmm. you major in, and did you take any type of year off? Okay, I had um, a crazy journey, I feel like. Um, I did two years of running start for my junior and senior year. So, you know, I completed my basics there. I feel like I wasn't mature enough um, for that in terms of the sciences. So I did another year in community college after running start. <laughs> and then oh, what, after is, oh, that, what is running start? Oh, okay. Running start is like, you take college courses. Sorry, I thought every school had this. Um, <laughs> running start is like, you can take full-time college courses or part-time at a community college and accumulate, um, you know, credit for it. So when you graduate high school, you could potentially graduate with your associates. Mm, okay, okay. So that's the thing that they do out here in Washington. Um, and so I did two years of running star and then I did another year of undergrad at that same community college. And I was like, you know what? I went to a university and I was like, I just don't feel prepared enough for the sciences. So I redid my chem series um, and I did another four years of undergrad. Okay. Um, so total, I mean, if you don't, it, it was seven years of college. <laughs> um, seven years, it, well, if you don't count the two years of running starts, five. But I did that and I majored in biology. Now at my school, um, I think we're going to go into this a little bit more later, but there were only two pre dents in my school. Wow. Um, I'm the only one that ended up going, yeah, in the whole school. And I'm the only one who ended up going to dental school. Um, my colleague ended up becoming an Alaskan fisherman. So, hey. <laughs> um, hey. Uh, and, and he's having fun. So there goes um, a pre-dental journey there. Mm -hmm. um, but my journey continued on. I really had to get in contact with the dental schools around me. Um, well, that was the University of Washington. We only have one dental school out here. So um, I like kept pushing and bothering the ASDA people to put me on. I kept bothering um, the admissions people to tell me what was going on. So that's how I got it. Um, I helped out with um, a few events as an undergrad and I shadowed so many dentists. I got a lot of hours in. So um, that was my journey. I graduated um, with my bachelor's in bio. And then I, what did I do next? I took a gap year. I think it was like one and a half years because I have like, I had this really bad anxiety with the dad. So I was like, I'm too scared. That's why it took me forever. But I did well. Um, and now I'm at, in the dental school and I love it. UW, UW is awesome. So quick question. How did you do so well? Like what's like the number one tip that you would give to pre dents with regards to the DAT? So um, I would say with the DAT, you have to repeat everything you have to do practice tests once a week um and build that stamina mm -hmm. and i think most of it is more testing strategies because you have to really know how to get through it quickly and um and timely it's i feel like man for me it was more testing strategy because i didn't learn that at all in high school i didn't really learn it in college either so when i went through my courses um like what was it? Chad's videos yeah. did a good job um, with the testing strategies. I used DAT Bootcamp um, and DT Destroyer RE Study Guide. Mm -hmm. I bought Kaplan set, um, but I only really use the flashcards. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I would just say repetition, learn your testing strategies, and give yourself enough time to really prepare and practice. Two weeks was not enough for me because I have like that anxiety. I like literally studied for maybe a year because I was working full time. Dang. So it was tough. I think, yeah, my, my whole um, study for that was a year and then it took a year for the application. Dang. 
Yeah. Yeah, you were determined. That's good though. At least you know, at least you're here now. That's all that matters. Right? Determination, but man, procrastination as well because the girl got testing fears. Right, right, right. Which I mean, a lot of people deal with. You know, a lot of people do deal with that. Yeah. So I was gonna ask you for University of Washington Dental School. Do y'all have any type of like programs that pre dents can get involved in in order to like? either increase their chances of getting yeah. into dental school or just kind of exposing them to the dental school in general? I mean, UW is really good. They have like pre-dent, if you're in undergrad at UW, um, they have pre-dental clubs. They have a lot of pre-dental programs, excuse me, um, like dive into dentistry mm -hmm. um, where you can go in there, you can practice waxing, you can practice suturing. It's really fun for pre-dents. Um, there's a lot of volunteering that you can get uh, um, involved in, like um, the Union Gospel Mission. Um, I think they're linked up with UW and you can volunteer for that. Um, what else do they have? Um, there's ASDA as well, and they work closely, like our school's ASDA is super involved. So they, I had an ASDA membership, so I went to one of the conferences um, in Chicago before um, I applied and I feel like I met and networked with a lot of people there. And um, yeah, I think it's all about your motivation and determination to meet the right people and like really do your research and be resourceful in um, what what's out there for you, you know? Definitely, definitely. Okay. And so you took the DAT and then you got an interview. So can you kind of like walk us through the day, uh, your interview day, like just how it was? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I don't know, but... I had like this crazy boldness that day. Like I just felt so excited and I had this boldness and I walked in there cause I like really studied and um, tried to like prepare myself for the, um, the what, what, what it was was multiple mini interviews. So I had um, read the multiple mini interview book from Amazon. And there's also another book, um, the uh, Christian medical ethics. Um, and that really prepared me for like any um, ethical debates and stuff because I knew that that was going to go on. Um, and what they did was there, I forget how many doors there were. There were like 10 doors and you had to knock on the door. There was a timing. You go in or you read the prompt and then you go in and you have X amount of time to like do whatever the prompt told you to do, whether if it was like team building, like doing a puzzle, like um, wow. they give you they give you like a position to debate. You debate that with another student and then you go into the next seat and you debate, you debate the opposing view. Mm. So it was That's really crazy. Like the most yeah. important was it like, make sure you're well-rounded and everything. They, there, was a, um, there was a station where you would read a poem and you would tell the interviewer what the poem meant to you. That's a lot. That's a lot going on. Oh, that's a lot of like stimulation, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, and was there like, after that, was that it? Did you have like a one-on-one -on -one interview with anybody or? A lot of them were one-on-one. -on -one. Um, oh, oh the, each uh, of the mini ones. Okay. Okay. I see. They were different. They were totally different. Mm -hmm. um, they were like, yeah, they were, they were uh, totally different. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So you interviewed. And then you obviously you got in. So can you kind of mm -hmm. talk about your first year, just kind of like the layout of it? Yeah. So I'm in the ride program. Um, so what the ride program is is uh, it's the regional initiative for dental education. So I think there's like 51 or 61 people in our class, and eight of us go to the east side of Washington, and it's a more focus on um, underserved and rural areas. Oh. Um, okay. So we we do this thing at the end called a RUOP. I don't really know what RUOP means, <laughs> but um, it's pretty much like you do one month of clinical where you do a bunch of, you're pretty much dental assisting, but you're doing injections like pretty much for the whole clinic and head and neck exams for the, all the new patients. Um, so that's like our experience there. Um, and we just get a lot of one-on-one -on -one with the RIDE program. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, my experience there has been awesome. Um, I feel like I have, awesome mentors that are super experienced like 
one of our professors is um, Dr. Arthur DeMar DeMarco, and he's like one of the top like dudes in the nation for dental anesthetic. So um, yeah, he it's an awesome program. Um, in terms of UW in general, I just love how my school really teaches us empathy mm -hmm. um, and really teaches us like procedures and making sure that you know that you need to be detail oriented mm -hmm. um, we spent like the whole year well we spent like three quarters just on waxing and dental anatomy um which was super fun um and yeah uh, everyone does that answer the question? <laughs> yeah, so, so like, what about the classes, you know? So, like, do y'all have, like, a uh, integrated system, or do y'all kind of just take, like, biochem, anatomy? Oh, history? I see. Um, so, okay, the first two years is um, books, mm -hmm. and the last two years will be clinical. Um, we took head and neck anatomy, worked with cadavers. We did, like, um, we just finished our whole block for pulmonary cardiorenal. Mm -hmm. So um, we did like clinical, like foundations of dental medicine, dental materials right now. Um, and yeah, we're, we won't, we do our white coat ceremony after second year. Okay. Um, so then we'll be seeing people third, fourth year. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So, you know, I ask everybody this question. Uh, what do you think is like genuinely unique about your school? Like, what makes like University of Washington special? I think um, the fact that my school is like so crazy about outreach mm -hmm. and giving back to the community in Washington. Um, and I mean, they train you other places, but it's just we're so connected to every single organization and. Washington um, to like every single shelter um, and there's so many opportunities to be, become a volunteer to these things um, also another thing like that empathy thing like they really want us to know how to speak to patients they want us to know how to come across in a way that's not um, discriminating in a way that's not um, they want our patients they want us to be able to know how to speak to our patients in a way that they understand like we just did um personality tests and we they our our school wants us to understand personality types of our patients and it's just it's awesome how they want us to really build a patient um doctor relationship yep. um so that's the thing that i feel like is super unique that's awesome awesome okay and last question Last question, and then you can get back to your to your sunny day. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you could go back in time and talk to yourself while you were going through the whole application uh, process, what's like something that you would tell yourself? Man, don't be scared, Kim. Just do it. I feel like there's such a there's such a fear that gets put into the whole application process yeah. and the DAT like man I've been working my whole life for this I don't do it that's the end of my life and then my classmates and I were just talking about like dude we just went took our dad at this time we just did our interview at this time we were talking about how stressed out we were and I feel like if you show dental schools that you're committed, that you love dentistry, that you're well-rounded, why would they turn you down? Right. Like, there would be no reason to. Like, I think show your passion and don't let fear overcome whatever your goal was for, den like for dentistry, for your dream to become a dentist. So yeah. I like that, that was good. That was good. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, if any of the viewers have any questions, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. It is Kim Does Dental. Okay. So that's what it is. Awesome, awesome. And I'll put like a, a link to that in the description box for everybody. 
But uh, but once again, Kim, thank you so much for your time. Whoop. <laughs> they broke uh, up again. Uh, we're good. We're good. But um, anyway, so anyway, Kim, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, anytime. Uh, anytime. Everybody, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions for Future DDS, you can go to our Instagram and send us a DM at underscore Future DDS, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, see y'all later.